you, President elect of Rotary, are the movers, and I am shaker. Your term as president will be the most amazing, fruitful months in your life. During your term in leadership, dream big using your vision, plan, and set goals, and then inspire and motivate Rotarians to reach goals. Goals to expand our organization by increasing membership and increase the impact of Rotary by serving the world. Friends, one of my mantras in Rotary has always been do more, grow more. And I hope you too will take this as your mantra. Do more as in bigger and impactful service projects and grow more as in increasing our membership. I've always been greatly inspired by the motto of Rotary, service above self. It has taught me to care for others, share with others. Service to me is about thinking of others even before I think of myself. Rotary kindled the spark within me to look beyond myself and embrace humanity. Service became a way of life for me. And my life's guiding philosophy became service is the rent I pay for the space I occupy on this earth. And I want to be a good tenant of this earth. In the coming Rotary year, I request you, urge you, cajole you to serve people and to help change their lives. So friends, our theme for the year, as you know, for the year 2021 is serve to change lives. I urge you to lead by example and inspire Rotarians and Rotaractors to participate projects that have long-lasting impact in your community. Join hands with other Rotarians, other organizations, with corporates and do projects that impact your community, your city, projects that can change the lives of people across the country. At the end of your term as president, you should feel that because of your leadership, because of your inspiration to the Rotarians and Rotaractors, the world has changed for the better because you served and inspired others to serve during the year. Friends, to live for others, to care for others, to serve others and change their lives is the best way to live our own lives. And it is not enough for us to just continue the service that we do now. We must dream bigger with bigger service projects and bigger impact. To attain that kind of impact, we need more Rotary members. And we must make our organization ready to take on big tasks. For more than 20 years, we have been stuck at 1.2 million members. Let us make it our individual responsibility individual responsibility to take the membership to at least 1.3 million by the end of your year as a club president. Our vision is to reach 1.3 million and our plan is each one bring one. This is not a difficult task, I'm sure, to bring just one member each in the next months that are in front of us. But for this to become a reality, it is you who will have to sharpen the focus in ensuring the message each one bring one reaches every member. I repeat, I request every member in your club should bring just one member. And I expect you to be accountable for this growth. Friends, let bringing in a member be a celebration at every club. And as each one of us gets members, let us focus on diversity and let us get more young members and female members. Let us focus on Rotaractors becoming Rotarians. We will welcome each new member with a personalized letter and I will thank each sponsor of a member with a personalized thank you letter. 
I want every club to make every new member a matter of celebration. And at Rotary International level, we will celebrate the outstanding success of sponsors by recognizing them with a posting on a virtual gallery. On the 17th floor of one Rotary Center, there is an Arch Club Society Gallery which recognizes the highest level of donors to the Rotary Foundation. Your efforts and the efforts of every sponsor of a new member will now ensure that the highest membership sponsors also will be recognized for helping build our organization. It will be virtual, so it will be possible to view from anywhere around the world by everyone within as well as outside Rotary. If you succeed in each one bring one, I am sure you will do so friends. You will have changed something in just months what we have struggled to change for years. Even as we get new members, we will strive hard to retain each and every existing and new member. While we open our front doors to a large number of members in every club, let us be agile to see that no member slips out of the back door. Retention of members is as important as getting new members. Retention will be most effective when the members are engaged. And for engagement, the pandemic has shown us new and exciting ways of engaging members. My own Rotary Club, Rotary Club of Calcutta Mahanagar, has had great virtual meetings. At one of our meetings, we had 2,400 attendees for a club with only 90 members. Engagement, my friends, is at its peak. I'm aware of so many other Rotary Clubs which have done so well at virtual meetings. Even the absentee members or members who are traveling are able to engage because of these virtual meetings. Hybrid meetings is going to be the way of the future. That's another way of engagement leading to retention. My dear Presidents, we have big tasks ahead of us, big dreams to fulfill. Some may say we are dreaming too big. Well, if I ask you to dream big, I have to lead from the front. One of my inspirations comes from what George Bernard Shaw said. He said, you see things and you say why, but I dream of things that never were and say why not. Dear Presidents, the forthcoming year is going to be one of the best years of your life. So make the most of it. Dream big. If you can dream it, you can do it. Any big thing has been achieved in this world has become possible because somebody dreamt of it. And thereafter, use your vision to chisel the dream and make out a plan. Presidents, Vision is something that you see beyond what normal people would. I normally say one of the greatest visionaries is Walt Disney. For imagine what he has churned out of just a mouse. An entire empire. The Disney empire is behind the Mickey Mouse. So friends, use the vision which is your ability to see far beyond what others would. You are a leader and you can do that. Use the vision to chisel your dreams to bring out plans. If you can plan it, you will definitely be able to do it. They say well planned is half done. And once you have planned it, convert them into goals. Your goals have to be those which are a bit of a stretch goals. Your goals have to be such that you will not be able to finish them all during your year. If at the end of the year you want a few more days to be able to complete your goals, I would say you've been very successful. That's because you took upon yourself and your club goals which were a bit of a stretch goal. I'll tell you something about goals. 
without goals we do not know where we are going imagine the world cup football or the soccer world cup happening millions of people glued to their televisions to see the match and then you see 10 people from one this side dribbling the ball and taking it past the other 10 and then they are trying to defend and bring the ball to the other side and this keeps going on and people are very anxious to see who does the next goal but suddenly they find both of the goal posts have been removed now what happens of that match nothing 22 people not knowing what to do why because there are no goals they do not know where to go so have your goals and share them with others goals kept to yourself no good share them with others make those goals there and that is the true leader a leader is a dealer in hope if i can convince that my goals become your goals and you start thinking them to be your goals then i am a good leader so share your goals and then delegate you have only two hands and one mind imagine so many more joining in because in rotary everybody wishes to volunteer delegate and keep motivating so when i was becoming the district governor my trainer told me a very nice thing he said the job of the district governor shaker is to lubricate the ego of the club president let me stretch it a little the job of the club president is to lubricate the ego of the club members do that inspire them motivate them again dealer in hope once you do that they the privileged have to lead from the front i tell you you will succeed and don't worry about failures the biggest stories in this world have been based on failures i can tell you innumerable ones but just to mention one go back today and google abraham lincoln that person failed in nearly everything he tried and succeeded in everything that he did so be ready to dream big and take risks a ship is safe in the harbor but that's not what ships are meant for they need to go out in the vast high seas life my dear president is about adventure and not maintenance so president are you ready are you ready for the big challenges are you ready to serve are you ready to change life i am and i'm sure you are too then let us go and serve to change life